All right, YouTube, Repo Man 64. Trying something new. Trying to uh, use Zoom where I can share the screen and do this from a laptop so that uh, it's not crunched up like it is on the phone. Let's see here. Welcome to the secret broadcast universe. I picked that background, kind of like it. Rapture any moment. Let me see here if I can figure out how to share. There we go. I believe we are sharing the screen now. You are sharing the screen. That's what it says. Okay, let me minimize that. And let me try to remember where the appears the picture. And let's see here. We're sharing screen sharing. Let's enlarge this. Oh, cool. I stay on top. That's awesome. All right. Real quick. Again, this is just a quick video so that I can make sure that it's all functioning. I don't even know how to upload it quite yet to uh, YouTube, but I'll make another video later on once I mess around with this a little bit to figure it out. We are uh, right here on the 26th. Um, we are three days before Passover. And um, the count, I noticed, gets a little mixed up here because of February the 29th. Um, the mirror to Noah's Ark is here on May Day. It's actually May 1st. I think I did this count with, uh, I believe I did this count without thinking about February the 29th. So this is six months. Six months from this moment right here is um, when uh, the flood began on IR-17. Hesh, I'm sorry, Heshbon 17, IR-17 being six months earlier. And that was a question that I have for uh, a lot of people. A lot of, I'll tell you what, a lot of you guys... Uh, well, let me finish this, and then I'll go into that. Right here, this is in the wrong line. Enoch born and raptured on Savon 6. That technically belongs right in here. Um, that wall just fell down again. It's windy. Um, so this is Ascension Day. Enoch did not ascend on the same day Jesus did. He actually ascended 10 days prior to Jesus, right here, May 20th. Jesus ascended on May 30th, seven days later, is Pentecost on June 5th, Savon 21. I've done these counts over and over and over again. Um, and this is where Enoch left. Do we leave when Enoch leaves on May 20th? I'm hoping, of course, it's before May 14th, somewhere. Well, I'm hoping it's now. We're all the way back here. So we're looking at, you know, what, another... 25 days that's just uh, with things heating up the way they are i can't see it lasting that long i believe we have to be gone before we get down here to the day of atonement which is september the 25th so if we count back those six months we come all the way back to this period of time so or five months and i was thinking that perhaps five months would be how long the saints would have to wait until tribulation begins and a lot of people have said that tribulation begins on the Day of Atonement over here. So, all right, let me get out of this. And let me enlarge this. Hey, back here to the secret broadcast universe. All right. Salvation. Satan has done an incredible job on convincing everybody that there is work to be done for your salvation. While this is true during the tribulation, it is not true now. We are in the age of grace. So I'm going to put this in a way that will some of you will understand and some of you get a little excited about. And I'll put it to you like this. Go to a quiet place by yourself. Nobody needs to know and you don't need to tell anybody and accept the Lord into your heart. And then do nothing. Don't don't change. If you're a liar, you keep on lying. If you're a thief, just keep on stealing. If uh, you're an adulterer, just keep on adultering. The way you know, once you've done that, if it was genuine, is that 
you will begin to have a conscience over it. You will not. You've met these people at work. Oh, yeah, I went to the bar last night. My wife's at home, met this girl. Uh, there's no shame. They're proud of it. Oh, yeah, I, I went to the store and I stole this. This is great. Or, you know, yeah, I lied to my boss and uh, I'm good now. These things that we used to do will begin to weigh heavy on our hearts and it will change you. Every single one of you that is saved knows what I'm talking about. That's why I tell you, don't change. You don't do anything. The Holy Spirit that's residing in you will change you if you will let it. If you are not saved, you won't let it. If you are saved, it's going to happen naturally. Kind of does weird things to my head. So my hair up there, what's left of it. So I wanted to put that out there. I'm going to see if I can upload this. It's just a quick video. And uh, let's see what happens. Stop share. See if this, oh, this, this is stop recording right there. Got it.